So you join me here in the engine room on Independence and we're looking at the fresh water pump which has failed this morning. Um, so it's time to replace it. And uh, but this isn't a very old pump. Um, just over a year old or whenever it was that I bought the boat and <laughs> I can't remember actually. Uh, pretty bad of me. But uh, it's not very old. It hasn't lasted very well. This is an SPX Johnson pump. Um, it's unusual in as much as it's a 12 volt pump that pumps 20 litres a minute at 30 psi. A lot of pumps pump less flow but more pressure. Um, I got this because the previous pump that was here when I bought the boat was the same one. So obviously I thought well I'll replace like for like. And it hasn't been without its problems because um, as you can see the snapping connectors here um, have never held the hose in. Um, they've often vibrated themselves out and then once that goes out on this side, the outlet side, the pump goes oh and carries on pumping water gushing everywhere. So a rather elaborate zip tie arrangement was uh, used to keep those in place. The other issue as well is that um, having spoken to a fellow trader owner on the Norfolk Broads network last year, his trader doesn't have this pump. His trader, and as he spoke, all the other traders I've ever been on, have had fitted a Jabsco pump, Parmax 4, that pumps 16 litres per minute, this is 20, but at 40 psi. Um, and if you look here where this is mounted, there are some telltale screw holes of a different type of pump that was here. So it's got me thinking, did this boat originally come with a Jabsco water pump? Well, after we fitted this, I went through a lot of um, paperwork that came with the boat from the previous owner, including warranties and guarantees from the manufacturers, when everything was originally fitted out. And sure enough, the boat originally came with a Jabsco pump. Now, that wasn't a Parmax 4, um, but it was a similar specification. So I think what's been happening is, the previous owner to me, the pump failed, the boatyard got something that, um, he probably said to them something like, oh, the pressure's not very good. Uh, you know, the flow through the taps is quite low. Ah, right, yeah, okay. Well, we just get a higher rated pump for flow. Fitted the new pump. And to be frank, it's always been pretty poor flowing, especially to the galley. The other issue I have is that on this boat, I have a um, an expansion tank, which is over there on the hot side only not an accumulator tank. Now, because an expansion tank can be used as an accumulator tank, the only difference is, where do you put it? Do you put it um, on the cold side, where it becomes an accumulator, or on the hot side, where it becomes an expansion tank? Now, the issue I've got, and I've had since buying the boat, is, say you're having a shower. You set the temperature, it's great. Well, the water pump here is supplying the cold, uh, side of things to the uh, the temperature control for the shower but the expansion tank of over there what i just showed you is supplying the hot water so you'll get a steady flow of hot water and then what will happen is the the expansion tank here will um run of out of pressure as as they're supposed to and then the pump obviously would normally kick in to fill it up with more water and more pressure but when it does that it can't do both things at once smoothly. It can't pump up that expansion tank and supply a steady flow of cold water. So what happens is the hot water goes up and the cold water goes down. The temperature controller on the shower can't, you know, deal with this. And so what you get is absolutely scalding hot water come through for about 10 seconds and then it will be fine again. So what I need to do is to have an accumulator tank on the cold side, just like we do on Broad Ambition, just like I do on Trixie, um, whereby pump fills up the expansion tank with water, let's say it was a five litre expansion tank, and um, 
you turn the tap on, the pump doesn't run immediately. It uses the pressure in the expansion, oh sorry, the accumulator, and then the pump will cycle to maintain pressure in the system. So you don't have any pulsing, you don't have any flow up, down, like, like a wave, uh, which I currently have. Of course, the issue is, is that where they've put the water pump is right here with all the, the fuel filter for the generator. We've got all the electrical systems up here. We've got the water strainer for the uh, main engine, the water strainer for the generator. We've got various pipes coming off of the engine here. Where do you put an expansion tank? Now, I could probably have a two, maybe a five litre one that would come out about this sort of distance and wouldn't fail getting in the way of stuff too much. Otherwise, it would have to go completely somewhere else and we'd have to maybe move the water pump and, and re-plumb. But then, despite the size of things down here, there's not actually a lot of empty space on, you know, walls to put stuff, <laughs> frankly. So I think I'm gonna have to accept that uh, a large scale you know, 20, 30, 35, 40, whatever, big, you know, like, you know, something like this, um, expansion tank isn't gonna be a viable option. But that's the background on the pump. So the pump stopped working. Um, so I decided to say to go on the Norfolk Brawls Network forum, go back to a conversation that the guy that owns another trader had, and he said, you want to get what I've got. And that is this. And this is a jab scope Palmax 4, and we'll have a look at it together. Model 31620-0092. As you can see, 16.3 litres per minute. Um, and it has a, it doesn't actually sound there because it's a nuisance, <laughs> but it has a cutout 40, oh, there it is at the top, 40 PSI automatic water pump. So we've got 10 PSI more pressure We've reduced our flow, um, and I'm hoping, because what, what was effectively happening with this, it was almost as if this was trying, even just on the cold tap, you open a cold tap, it was trying to chuck so much water down this size pipe um, that it was never running smoothly, even just, you know, you'd have to open two taps to make this run properly if you open just one tap it would constantly go you know really pulsing so i think that the issue was that it wasn't so much the pressure it was trying to force too much volume of water down two smaller diameter water pipes um so i have no idea if this is going to solve the problem uh, by fitting this new pump but i need something because i need water obviously so I went to ASAC, ASAP, ASAP, yeah, ASAP supplies in Beckles. And uh, they had this waiting for me, um, along with this, 181 pounds odd for the both of them, which was an offer price. It wasn't, I think it would have been 199 or something normally, uh, but really helpful, great staff there. Um, so I've got that. It doesn't come with the screws, but that's all right because I've got screws there. Um, it doesn't come with the things... Oh, yes, it does. They're black. Okay, so they, they blend in a bit. I was going to say it doesn't come with the, the quick connect things. Um, but it does, so that's good as well. It comes with a multitude of different fittings to, to put in these holes for different um, types of diameter pipes and everything. So I think out the box we've got all we need to fit it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have a look at what's going on with this wiring. I can see that we've got a uh, inline fuse here, as we can see just there. So I'm going to check the value of that fuse to make sure that that is, um, it even tells you what um, fuse. We need a 15 amp fuse. Um, so we'll make sure that that's all okay. Um, and what will happen, of course, is that the inlet side here, the minute I undo that, it's going to start gushing water everywhere because I can't isolate from the water tank. So there are things that could be improved um, on this boat. An expansion tank or accumulator tank. Um, possibly 
having some kind of manifold here where the, the water pump, the water inlet pipe comes to, where I can isolate it in the future. And then from that, we could have some, um, you know, better plumbing because you can see where they've terminated the, the two pipes here that um, you've got to have something that fits there. There's no more giving the system. You can't just pull some more pipe through. Um, that's all you've got. So it's a bit tight. It doesn't matter what size boat you have. Working on a boat, pain in the ass. So um, take the old pump off. We've really got the crimps here. Um, and we'll wire up the new one, plumb it up, and hopefully it will work and I will get water out of the taps. But we will see. What a long, tedious introduction. I am out of practice. I do apologize for saying too much. At nearly 11 minutes, but let's crack on with the job. Well, what we've got going on here, guys, is a whole situation. So, um, as you can see, the old pump is off and leaking. Um, this here is from the water tank. Um, the new water pump is in. The four screws that hold the old one in are all different sty styles, sizes and lengths. But unfortunately, this pipe is supposed to fit this pump. It's been cut precisely. So I can't get enough round to hook onto the new one. Let alone the way this is on this pump, which sticks out even further. So it does say in the instructions anyway, that uh, when mounting this, you should mount it, when mounting it uh, vertically, you should actually mount it so that the motor is at the top. And I'm not quite sure, but I believe that is the motor up here, because that's where the wires come out. And the sticker's up the right way and everything. But it doesn't say anything about mounting it horizontally being an issue. So I'm gonna to have to mount this this way round um, and see if that achieves getting it um, to not foul here um, and not foul under here, but, but get my um, inlet hose connected. The joys of boating. Whilst this is filling up all around me, so I've got the wet vac that I just suck it out every now and again. All of the over-engineering on this boat, but not an isolator cock for the fresh water tank. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so let's try and uh, be calm because uh, you know when you needlessly do something and it takes more time than is required. So um, you know earlier when I showed you that this pipe here wouldn't reach round and in, um, it wouldn't, it doesn't. It's, it's not me, It's uh, it really wouldn't. And um, let alone having this. But it was when I looked at that, that I realized that that is also made by Jabsco, is also a pump guard, but is a different model. Um, so what that does is it has an inlet at the bottom and the outlet actually is on this right angle here into the pump base. Unlike this, where you would have it in the pump base and then screwed up on your bulkhead and the inlet pipe would come to this part. So by utilising the existing strainer, which was absolutely fine, there was nothing in it at all, um, I've managed to fit the pump back where I'd originally put it. Um, and uh, obviously I haven't wired it up yet. We don't know if it's going to work. Um, and I hope I've got it the right way round. That it's not going to try and suck water back the other way. But um, it's got an arrow on it to help, which shows you it's this way, which says to me water comes in this way and goes out that way. Um, so yes, it has been an incredibly laborious, annoying task. And I think what I'm going to have to think about doing is that well, down here somewhere, there is going to have to be some kind of valve. And off of that, I can have some more water pipe to come off to the pump. Because the pump obviously needs, that's the electrical um, inlet for the pump there. So it is designed to be in this area. Um, but what with the expansion tank um, situation, um, you can get expansion tanks that the pump, these pumps bolt onto. 
Um, the problem with that, I realise, though, is that if the pump expansion tank fits in this area, which it probably does, by the time you've got the round expansion tank and then the pump bolted on, how are you going to get to your filter housing to um, look at your strainer or indeed for your impeller on the engine? So um, one, one solution runs into problems elsewhere. So uh, that is the situation. I've installed the pump. I'm now going to wire it up, turn it on and pray to God that something doesn't leak out of one of these quick connect connectors because if it does unlike this one where I was able to tie um, zip ties on to keep them in the closed position um, although I have to say the Jabsco ones seem far more positive I mean look at how you know loose they are in comparison they tend to work by fitting around the friction fit comes from fitting onto the actual barbed connector in there um, whereas these really go click into place on the Jabsco pump so um, let's have a go let's wire it up turn it on and see if we've got pressure um, and see what sort of pressure I think I'm going to be down on pressure but I'll have water so it's an ongoing thing um, but I'm a bit concerned about a number of things now because I've just realised my expansion tank is supposed to be set at 28 PSI, which is just about right. You know, 28 PSI for a 30 PSI pump. And now I've got a 40 PSI pump. Hmm. Let's have our go at first, but I might have cocked up my hot water system now as well. But um, I'm not a plumber. So I, I should have asked advice. I should have gone on and asked advice of people. But I'll, I'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. And when it goes wrong, I will then ask advice and get a professional in. And they'll say, what so-and-so bloody did all of this? Me? Okay, so we're wired up, we're pressurised, we're not leaking. I was told that these Jabscos might be a bit noisier than... Um, the Johnson pumps. I'm not quite sure what technology the Johnson pump uses. Judging by the fact that it's got a large circular part at the bottom. Um, oh, that's good. It's leaking everywhere. Um, I, I consider then probably that in here could be an impeller that's spinning. Um, I could be wrong. It could be a diaphragm pump. I've, you know, it's a lot heavier than the Parmax 4 and the Parmax 4 is a diaphragm pump there's four valves and they kind of open and close and pump the water that way so um, I'll live with it for now but I think what I really need actually is a Johnson 40 psi 16 litres per minute pump because this one here well over here, I've got a hose pipe. Um, I'll turn the hose pipe on. And you'll hear the racket. I'll just put this down in the bilge. Um, how are we going to do this? I'll just prop the phone up here. I'm using my phone. Oh, I need two hands. God damn it. Yeah, can you hear that? The other one was like a whisper in comparison. So, um, yeah, it's a bit mental. Um, well, I've got to clear up. Um, but yeah, that is definitely not leaking. So, uh, job well done. I just need a better situation with um, everything, basically. Um, an expansion. I might not need an expansion. So if this is what the boat was originally supposed to have, then maybe I'm going to be fine with what I've got. Um, so let's let's be serious. If you've watched all the way through, well done. Well done you, sir.